Hello booktube, this is my September book haul. I have 11 books to show you, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with the books I've um, reacquired. Um, I've had these two books um, before in my collection. Um, I think I mentioned them when I did my um, books from about 10 or so years ago. And I've since gotten rid of a lot of them. But I'm kind of wanting to reacquire some of them, and I have two in this haul. First up is The Dream of the Unified Field, um, Selected Poems 1974 to 1994 by Jory Graham. Um, this is a collection, selected collection of her poetry, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I picked it up from Book People um, in Austin, and quite enjoyed her work. Um, I think even at the time, uh, one of my professors mentioned that um, Jory Graham went to St. Edward's campus. Uh, for my undergraduate, I went to St. Edward's University in Austin, that Jory Graham had visited campus and read some of her poetry and it was filmed. And I actually watched uh, that uh, performance. It was quite good. Or at least I think I tried. It might not have actually worked because my TV was acting up or something, but anyway. But I do quite enjoy her work and happy to have this um, collection back in my collection. Uh, next up is um, David Levitt's Collected Stories. Um, so I first encountered David Levitt's work through his editing of the Big Book of Gay Short Stories. And then I had a, um, I think his first um, short story collection, which is uh, Family Dancing. No, not Family Dancing. A Place I've Never Been. It was A Place I've Never Been. And I quite enjoyed it. And when I saw this um, collected stories, which um, collect his, um, uh, his collections, Family Dancing, from 1983, A Place I've Never Been from 1990, The Marble Quilt, Quilt from 2001. And I'm like, yay. Went ahead and picked it up. And looking forward to rereading some of these stories. Um, next, I picked up a, an anthology from the 70s that has been in my wish list on the Libras for quite a while. Um, Anti Story, an anthology of experimental fiction edited by Philip Stevick. Um, I picked this up largely, or I was interested in picking this up because I think this collection or anthology is referenced in a wonder book by Jeff Vandermeer as sort of a writer's. Uh, um, fiction that maybe writers, aspiring writers, would like to look at to sort of get a handle on some experimental fiction. So I'm looking forward to getting to this collection. Next, I have uh, three novels. Um, first is Crooked Little Heart by Anne Lamott. Um, I picked this up for uh, my America 20 project, where I would select 20 uh, books by American authors and read them. It's not quite going so well, but yeah, I mean, trying is whether or not I actually like any of the books. I mean, the fact that I'm trying, that I'm wanting to expand what I read is a positive. Um, haven't gotten to this yet, um, obviously because I wait until after I haul them before I try to read them, but my mom has read this and Despite a rough start, she quite liked the book um, as it went on. So I'm looking forward to reading it myself. Next is Dark Man's by Nicola Barker. Um, I, I think this book might be for um, my Around the World in 80 Books project, which, again, much like America 20, may not necessarily be going all that well, 
although I'm trying, so there's that. It's, um, so I think I was looking up, um, British book prizes and saw Nicola Barker winning a prize a few years ago for her novel Happy, and then gradually looking around and saw this and thought it sounded interesting, so I put it in my wish list, and then when I was doing a, a Libra's Order with Owls, since a lot of the books on Owls and Discover Books tend to be about $1.45, give or take, um, I tend to bulk the orders, um, so I don't have to pay as much in shipping and handling, and I just added this. You know, looking forward to getting to it. And next we have a new novel. So all of the previous books I had picked up from uh, Libris and Owls, specifically. So the new novel I picked up is These Violent Delights by Micah Nemerever. Uh, just came out a few weeks ago. Well, about last week. And um, I saw it's hauled on Steve Donahue's channel and thought it sounded very interesting. And looking forward to reading it. Um, next we have um, history. So the first two histories I'll touch on are um, ones that are used. I picked them up from Libras. Um, this one is America Bewitched the Story of Witchcraft after Salem by Owen Davies. Um, I've read this twice before. Um, as it says, it's um, a history of witchcraft and of um, popular beliefs about witchcraft in America from um, the Salem Witch Trials through to various folk beliefs and folk practices that are magical to the present in um, the witch in American popular culture. And this is a very fascinating, amazing book. I really, really enjoyed reading it the two times I've read it, and I'm looking forward to having another go at it. So probably since Halloween is coming up, I may read it in October, even though I don't know if I necessarily want to read any nonfiction up until November, since November is going to be all nonfiction all the time. Um, also picked up America Bewitch from a new, or wrote to me, uh, vendor on Alibris, and I thought they were really good. Um, next is The Sacred History of Wonder Woman by Joel Lepore. Um, I recently read her uh, History of the United States, These Truths, and loved it. And I'm wanting to collect her other work, and starting with uh, Wonder Woman. So this one I picked up for $1.35 from Owls and sort of I bought this and America Bewitched at the same time although from different vendors. I'm quite happy with the book even though it did come with several of those annoying metal clip bookmarks that I had to uh, slowly peel off and was afraid the um, I would end up damaging the book. Who ever invented those bookmarks? Shame on you. But I really love the um, uh, in covers or whatever those are. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, reading this. I'm quite happy to have it. Next we have um, three new book works of history, uh, two of which have come out this month. So first is um, The Beauty and the Terror, uh, The Italian Renaissance and the Rise of the Rest by Catherine uh, Fletcher. Um, I picked this up from Powell's uh, books. Uh, they were having a sale on and I had had this in my um, Amazon wishlist or yeah, wishlist for a while. So went ahead and picked it up and quite looking forward to getting to it. And then uh, two books that I've had pre-ordered for ages. Um, 
19, November 1918 by Robert Gerwith. It's about the uh, German Revolution, which is a subject, um, the fall of the Hohenzollern monarchy is a subject I'm very interested in, so I'm really looking forward to getting to this. And finally, the book I got this, just got this week, um, Thebes, The Forgotten City of Ancient Greece by Paul Cartledge. Um, this is a history of um, Thebes, which is one of the ma major uh, Greek city-states. Um, the thing about ancient Greek history is it is very much Athens-driven. Most of the texts, most of the sources we have are generated by and about Athens. Um, Sparta gets a little bit more attention, but the rest of the city-states not so much. And I've been yearning for uh, books on Thebes and Corinth and the others outside of um, Athens and Sparta. So quite happy to have this and I'm looking forward to reading it. So that was my uh, September um, book haul. Um, I'll be back well, obviously later on today with weekly reads, but regarding book hauls, I will be back in, towards the end of October with my October book haul. But in the meantime, uh, do let me know down below if you would like me to uh, read more about the book. So uh, read the um, blurbs at the back, the synopses, um, or just, yeah, what I've been doing. Um, also, I don't know if um, I'm going to go to Golden's Book Exchange this year. Um, it's one of the used bookstores in Waco that I like to go to. Um, they have a bi-monthly book sale where, where the books are about 75% off. And you can get a good amount of books for not a whole lot of money. And it's been about a year since I went. And obviously if you've been following my channel for any length of time the last time i went was well the bar i mean what, yeah golden's was amazing as it always is but the getting there was a nightmare just absolutely a nightmare um so i don't know if i'm going to go back um i'd rather not take the bus if i can avoid it um so i don't know so if I don't go, there'll be just one book haul at the end of the month. Um, if I do manage to go, there might be one before because I do have a big, I will have a big pile of books coming with me. So it would not make a whole lot of sense to do one big book haul. But anyway, so yeah, that's been my September book haul. Um, I'll see you in a few hours with a weekly reads which might end up being um, Dream of the Unified Field. I've been really thinking about going ahead and reading that one, or it might be something else, but I'll be back in a few hours with uh, weekly reads, and then, yeah, I'm rambling, so sorry about that. Um, see you in a few hours. Thank you, BookTube. Have a great afternoon, and please stay safe.